first set. We are in a tie match at the drop. Double oh. gen pop to avoid the deadlock. Oh. They do go down. There is a haste status effect. You gotta be careful here. The hatch is going to spawn momentarily. Deadheart could get them the distance to get it too. Smart Ooh, shot. Really smart play oh, on the ace. Oh shot. my god, he's getting shot through the window. There's no longer have distortion, and they are gonna teleport here. I think they get there in time. <gasps> yes, oh, they the it. yes! Oh, 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 this is that is disappointing. This is be a four man out because yeah but they will be able to oh, block yeah. this <laughs> yo getting caught on that ace coming with the oh body block oh they oh. were here all right everybody welcome back to champions of the fog season five qualifier i believe this is number four no this is five i've lost count at this point after last week's uh qualifier i'm just dead that was such an insane qualifier but regardless we're back at it again and i'm joined by none other than dbd opinions today welcome back to the show hey thank you so much for having me i'm so happy to be here happy to have you back it's gonna be a good time again first time casting with them so i'm gonna put them through the ringer i'm kidding uh <laughs> I got, I'm ready. I'm ready. Initiation. That's what they call it. <laughs> I think they call that hazing, and I'm pretty sure it's illegal now in most places. Oh, we're going to go straight. Oh, okay. We're going straight to hazing. I like it. I like it. <laughs> oh, man. But it's going to be a good day. We got more qualifier action coming at you. We got CDG versus Seven Rushes. We're going to the Wreckers Yard for round number one. And I'm not going to lie. I, Compass made me love Wreckers Yard. This map is just so nice and balanced. Oh, man. I wish I was on the same page as you. I wish I had a love for Wreckers Yard, but I feel like I go there all the time and I'm just sick of it now. <laughs> you know, that's a, that's a fair point. I, I will, okay, during the event, remember the six year event when they're like, hey, tell us your favorite maps? And it was literally every other map was Wreckers Yard. I will give you that. That was quite annoying. That was very, very annoying. <laughs> But otherwise, fine. And also, I just noticed they have a really split corrupt, so I don't know how the executioner's gonna handle this, but they do find the Kate. Oh my goodness, that Kate is. I hope that's my end and not the killer's end, because man, that is some lag on the Kate's oh, part. Is there some funky stuff happening? I missed it. Uh, did the stream cut out? No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, like, I'm still here. Sorry, I just, I missed uh, whatever was happening with the Kate. <laughs> Oh, you're good. Yeah, it, it looked like the Kate was teleporting on my screen, but that's uh, that could be lag, that could be any number of things. But regardless, Executioner getting a little bit of pressure already, getting the yeah. not committing, and seems like they're kind of just chilling. Yeah, like you mentioned earlier, the split corrupt, that, that does put them in not the most ideal spot, but they're making it work right now, and mm -hmm. we'll just see where they go with this. For sure, and... Seeing Scratch Mark, okay, they do see another survivor over here. Nia has not been reset just yet. Doubling out this gen, but they do see the Nia in the distance. And uh, yeah, they're going to kick this gen. They see the Kate, they do see the Kate, and... Yeah, they seem to be struggling to commit to a certain survivor. That is Call of Brian, though, as we see on the other gen. Survivors are just... <laughs> they have they descended upon wandering. these gens yeah. like a flock of hornets. They have taken advantage of this split corrupt for sure. Mm -hmm. We got two gins that are awfully close and I can tell the pyramid head, he's just awfully anxious about what do I do now? I got two gins. Do I commit to a chase or do I really try to pressure these gins right now? Nancy trying to come in and take a hit for the Nia. Maybe trying to save a deliverance, possible deliverance. Can't let Nia go down. I don't know. Very possible. I will also note that a lot of the time you just don't want to let a survivor go down this early in the game especially on wreckers yard because of that central building if you let them go down near central building it's a basement hook and good luck trying to get them out of that basement that's fair you mean it's just teamwork it's just <laughs> boring teamwork Whoa, Imagine. A spicy hit. Ooh, a very good hit indeed and i think they are out from under the pallet enough that shouldn't be a pallet stun and yeah we're gonna see that basement hook regardless however survivor uh... should get two gens done oh wait never mind that's a deadlock that is Deadlock, yeah. It was awfully close, though. Deadlock is about to run out. I wonder if they still have enough time to crank it before he gets there. We will have to see. And I imagine Survivors, uh, back in Season 2, uh, Deadlock was one of the most popular perks used. 
and they actually found a counterplay for it which is just 99 a gen in the corner and then that gen's the one that's always getting deadlocked and you can just do gens very freely but then we banned it <laughs> oh in season three we didn't have any deadlock and it was great fair enough well, I was uh, watching last week, too, and I never oh, no. knew you could counter the last two gins with Deadlock by popping them at the same time. I've never seen this before. Yes! That was something that I did miss in Season 3, was that uh, we didn't see a lot of that happening because we had Deadlock. Oh, no! They're going to get the bounce out! No, it's yet decisive! Oh! oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh. Yeah, but there's new decisive for you. You can't really get anywhere. I feel like it. I don't know. I don't know. I got I got opinions about it, just like my name. <laughs> oh, I imagine so. Yeah, I I think three seconds is a bit harsh too. Four seconds feels at least at least a good middle, you know. Yeah. Oh man, but cheeky blind from the Claudette here. As yeah, they still haven't gotten a fourth generator done yet. There you go. Speak of the devil. There it is. Indeed. Not the one I was expecting, though. I feel like that one in the corner, kind of by the bus and everything, they had a lot of progress on that one. I wonder what's going on. Good question. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. And that is one thing I've also learned is that survivors are very cheeky about what gens they end up uh, actually committing to. Oh, <laughs> they are going to go for this unhook, though. Ah, it does an immediate here. contest. Oh, no. Oh, that was so quick. That was Steven very quick. Steer there. I didn't either. Going straight for the cage. Interesting choice. I guess they just want to keep that pressure and resume this chase straight away. Most likely, yeah. You don't want to let this Nia get too far away as I imagine they're going to... Oh, and they see her in the distance too. Yeah. Ah. Uh, and we've kind of cleaned out the pallets over here. They just got to do some spicy window work or just hold W and try to get the hell out of there. Yeah, we got Nancy coming in for the... Oh, oh. not able to dodge anyway. Oh, I think they're trying to set up for a for the people there and not able to get it off. This could oh, be... Oh, that would have been so good. It would have been, yeah, just a little bit of extra life, but unfortunately, Nia is now dead. They picked up the Claudette. Claudette fully healed as well. We'll have to see if they have those, uh, you know, those uh, pre-ready gens to pop if they are... Oh, no, that gen's still regressing. They didn't get a chance to touch it wonder if they've moved. I wonder if they're... Gen I feel like they've got to have migrated to a different gen. Hopefully. Hopefully for their sake. Hopefully, yeah. We heard, heard the Nancy back there for just a moment, but not committing. I think they want to find this Claudette and make sure they get Claudette out of the game, too. And oh, wow. sure. Wait. Is it no, that's the Kate. My bad. I'm blind. I'm blind. Thought that was the Claudette. Oh, you're fine. It, it happened so fast. And honestly, I didn't even think that was going to hit, but... I mean, Kate was the one that was a little bit of uh, back and forth, so I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little bit of uh, latency on our end that we're seeing that, but third gen yeah. down, and Kate is in a bit of trouble. Oh, a little bit of overcorrection from the pyramid head there. And I'm noticing the gen in the back oh. here. Oh, such a good <laughs> hit that she ran into. Oh, it happens man. to the best of us. Well, that's where uh, sometimes the prediction hits do work. Some survivors are not able to adapt to it, and I guess if they are on a different kind of... I, I, I'm guessing Kate is on a different ping, possibly. They they, yeah. they may have not seen that coming. Another gen! And Wait, that was not the, the one that was, that was even deadlocked this whole time. Yeah, that was the... Oh, they must have just cranked it, and I, mm -hmm. I'm curious to know how much this deadlock gen in the back... As progression wise, it's gotta be close. Yeah, you you and the executioner thing is simultaneously here as the executioner's like, how much progress does that jet have? <laughs> and it's got a good amount too. That's got about 50% at least. Oh, these survivors are I... very close to getting a two out at the very least. Yeah, there were some scratch marks on the corner of this tile here. I wonder if that's the one who went in for the unhook, but somebody might be hiding hiding back in that tile. It's very possible as this is very likely a deliverance as kate did get the unhook initially from the basement mm -hmm. and as soon as deadlock expires we might be seeing a potential three out even if this chase yeah. goes on long enough very possible i think i think they're holding all the cards right now mm -hmm. despite being down one person they are still pulling through and managed to get there it is oh, yeah man. but you noticing a certain haste status effect Oh. On the right hand side of your screen. An M1 115 killer bringing yeah. no it? Not no my way. dead by daylight. No. It's funny. No it is like the, the 
like the pub boogeyman but in comp usually it's just to get you an extra three points in a hook state yeah i feel like it's just expected at this point mm -hmm. i feel like they're like all right they're gonna have no ed we just got gate open we just gotta get out oh it's uh -oh. so close on the exit gate this kate in a pretty bad spot right now i don't know if they have a pallet over here or not i feel like they did drop it doesn't even matter it doesn't even matter and they see the nancy Nancy will be able to get this pickup on the Claudette, but it yeah. might not be enough. They might actually be looking at multiple deaths here after all. Yeah. Nancy's gonna have to do some fancy footwork to get back over to the gate, get that gate open, and try to guarantee at least two of them getting out right now, I mm -hmm. feel like is best case scenario. Oh, but Kate probably having the Unbreakable since they were the Deliverance survivor. Deliverance and Unbreakable go hand in hand. They do get the M2 through the pallet, but yeah, Kate's gonna open that door and she is going yeah. to get out. Was Nancy with her? I don't think Nancy was with Ooh. her. Nancy stepped... Oh, Nancy found the totem. Nancy, yeah, that, that, uh, I would, they say it's a Noah nerf. Honestly, it's not, I don't know. I don't feel like it's that much of a nerf, but yeah, able to find that totem with the R reading. This yeah, might be so what they need to get the multiple outs. Yeah. Ooh, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be so close. It's gonna be really close. I imagine Kate uh, didn't come back in for that. Oh? Well, now they will definitely okay, get out. So we're going straight for the gate. It, wait, she might be on the hatch. Claudette behind. Oh, Claudette might so be on the true. hatch right now. No way. No way. Don't do I think she is. Him. I think she's gonna get out. Oh, she, she does. Oh, God. Oh my god, I can't oh no my shot! Good lord! The coordination! <laughs> the greed! <laughs> oh, oh, it was man. so close, he was just about to make it too! They were, uh That is so crazy. Yeah, I mean I get it from the execution standpoint. You wanna make sure that you get as many hook stages there. I feel like I would have taken the two slug, hooked the Claudette, and then gone back for the I'm sorry, hooked the Kate and gone back for the Claudette, but Oh, man. Yeah, one thing survivors and comp are very good at is punishing greedy plays, and that's what they yes. did. I'm sure he's sitting beating himself up that he didn't do that now, and uh, live and learn, Ooh. I guess. It, it, it's 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 such, it, like, I, I feel bad in some cases as, as a commentator because I've been on the receiving end of it. It's like, it's, oh, it's yeah. hindsight 2020, but daggum, that was so close. They almost, that's the, crazy. Any other way, they could have had a 3k potentially, but the survivors were just so brutally efficient. Dealing with Noah, making sure their chases are extended at the end game as long as possible. And they managed to get the three man escape. And I believe at least one of those is a fresh out. If not, uh, yeah, uh, one of those is a fresh out. So nice, nice. Very yeah. efficient plays from the survivors. Very much so. Really, really well played. And I need to double check i think that is the correct score on the screen i need to double check because I, I don't uh i don't know if we have the correct uh score sheet up but with that said really really good trial one excited for trial two coming up here in just a second so stay tuned for that folks but we're gonna have a short ad break be back in just a moment stay tuned
Alright folks, welcome back to trial number two. Sorry, we had a bit of a lobby issue. Dead by Daylight definitely didn't crash. It never does that, right? You've never had Dead by Daylight crash, right? Oh, no, no, no. Especially no. not on console. No, not at all. Never. <laughs> no, it's a perfect game. Never happened. Anyway, we're going back to Wrecker's Yard, and we're going to see another Executioner, this time from Techno Ghost. And oh, that is a it, horrible corrupt. <laughs> it's just... It's the theme today. If you're coming in Pyramid Head with Wrecker's Yard, you're you're gonna get you're gonna get the split corrupt. That's just how it's gonna be. Yeah, this is a really rough corrupt intervention, but they do find a survivor very quickly. Now, very quick. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that was a bit of a flick. Do, is this is this killer a executioner made? That's not something you see every day. Do those exist? Yeah, I, I actually know three executioner mains, and my goodness, they are terrifying. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Dwight in a tricky spot here might be able to end. <laughs> sure enough, I think we got a pyramid, pyramid head main on our hands. That was very, very spicy. That was vicious. All right, well, you know what? It's okay that Corrupt was horrible because it's not up anymore. That was, Corrupt was over within a minute, so it did its job, I guess. My I goodness. I always forget that Corrupt now goes away once you down someone. And that is just, that, that is a bold change. It really is like, so from a developer perspective and behavior side, I get where they're coming from. It's supposed to give a killer a chance to get a Jace and, you know, get a first down and start pressure without losing like four gems. I get that. Right. But what I also don't think they get is that survivors are just really good sometimes. <laughs> Please give us a match. <laughs> oh, a balanced landing coming in. The speed away. Very good job avoiding that hit on the Quentin. Getting the unhook, however, yeah, we're gonna see this set off very quickly as this person is already tormented. Adam, however, probably having their deliverance. Yes. 
competitive DBD. We just gotta go for the one who is already hooked, and especially mm -hmm. with a pyramid head, we can just cage him right away. For sure. And I imagine that's what's gonna happen is we will see a cage in a second. Also worth noting, um actually I have no idea where I was going just now. Went to comp corner, very strong. That was an eruption as well. Quit seeing a lot more of that. Oh, and it doesn't matter as the deadlock will block that gen <laughs> anyway. So they have eruption and deadlock. A little bit of an interesting play here as the previous killer had call of Ryan. I'm just wondering where that Quentin's, or not Quentin, uh, that Dwight spawned. Yeah, yeah. I, we see uh, somebody rushing over here. They might be in this corner over here, but now they're back in track. Back in track. Back in track. English. There it is. There you go. And yeah, deadlock <laughs> about to expire here. Looks like they will be going for that uncage. Unless it was a fake. No, it was not. Oh, and we got Dwight right here on a silver player. Coming in for the firecracker. Oh. Does not connect. And Adam's no longer in a good spot to body block for Dwight. In fact, he just dipped. He, he yep. wanted nothing to do with it. <laughs> yeah, they knew that there was nothing more to be done. This Dwight was effectively going to die. And now it's a matter of get the gens in as fast as possible. One thing that I always uh, point out is once you get someone out of the game, Yes, it's a 3v1. Yes, that's a ton of pressure for the killer. But the killer actually needs to do something at that point still. So at that point, the killer effectively has no pressure on survivors. They need right. to get another down. They need to get another chase going. And so You're, you get someone out, but you have to reset your pressure. You have to find somebody and get them down. You're right. I think a lot of people interpret like, oh, survivors out of the game, three, four gens left. That, that's a win. That's an automatic win Yeah, for the killer. But it's really not the case. For sure, and we saw that last game is that the killer had a ton of pressure. They got the, you know, that one person down out of the game and then even had some pressure after that, but the survivors were just like, nah, we don't care, we'll do it. Oh, yeah, this piss. is almost a near identical kind of, it's almost the same game. We got yeah. somebody out at three to four gens and it's just a matter of, are the survivors able to pressure these gens as well as the survivors did in the last game? True, and second gen out of the way for these survivors. One thing that, okay, uh, my thought from the other time. One thing that's different between these two executioners is the add-ons. This one has the uh, additional, I believe it's uh, additional two seconds on the, uh, what is it, the rights? Instead of doing double range with the wax doll, instead they traded out for, uh, I believe, two extra seconds on the right so they can use their uh, power just a little bit longer, which helps for zoning. You are absolutely right, and oh, not sure what happened there. I think I, they I don't know if that's some comp strat I don't know about. <laughs> I think they were just trying to make sure they blocked off the pallet so the survivor wouldn't get to safety. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, it's, yep. oh the hit still connects as they bolt through the window. Mm -hmm. I thought that Adam would have enough time, and now he's going over to his the very dangerous loop over here for Pyramid Head, I think. Yeah, I would guess so. And honestly, actually, I think they switched off to the Adam specifically because they are worried about a potential deliverance and they want to cage the survivor and deny that power. Yes, this chase has been going on for such a long time, though. Mm -hmm. And as we're hearing with that gen right there, survivors are wasting no time getting those gens really close to popping. Oh, just <laughs> the tip of it. Just the tip connects. Oh, man. And an eruption to boots. This survivor is not going to be able to touch this gen for a little bit really good play and they're not actually gonna go for the cage immediately that's very interesting to me well, maybe they're going back for they, they just okay. got school they just got peek around that corner and go hmm where's everybody at and then we're gonna go back and cage them <laughs> probably yeah that, that would make sense you want to get as much regression on the gen as possible and yeah there's the cage on the atom if there was deliverance which i'm guessing they were the only survivor that would have deliverance uh they do no no longer have it however quentin not able to finish this generator surprisingly actually Oh, it's got to be so close now. And then, <laughs> oh, and sure enough, we got a gin popping. Deadlock covers that gin, so we got another gin basically ready to go. Oh. They basically have one more gin left to do. That was such a good hit. True, true. However, worth noting, this killer only needs two more hook stages to secure the W for their team. Oh. Because well, last time was a everything. five stage 1K. They need one fresh hook here, or one fresh hit here. Not able to get the Quentin. They need to hook the Quentin, and they need to hook the Quadda, and that's game. Actually, uh, hooking the Quentin and anybody else will be game. They, they need two more hook stages, which is... Oh, wow. Yeah, this server will go down, so this will be effectively the fifth hook state they need to tie up the match. Now the survivors can't give them another one. Right, right. This is... Uh, 
Uh, this is a tricky task for the survivors, true. not gonna lie. I would be very impressed. They are down to mm -hmm. one more gen. So I it, they could. They could. We'll see. True. Adam is the injured survivor here. It looks like, yeah, Claudette was the one to pop this generator. And it looks like they're trying to set up that last generator in the corner that is deadlocked to be the one that Adam might pop and be uh, you know, fresh for, but I don't know. I'm also trying to figure out know. if this is a if the Adam has the deliverance, sometimes they also have adrenaline sprint burst. I don't know what exhaustion mm. perk they had. So possibly pop that generator adrenaline for the Adam. They they have options. Yeah, yeah. Is that usually kind of the like uh the the happy pairing? Uh, those three perks together? Uh, Adrenaline, Unbreakable, and Sprint Burst, I see on one survivor like 99% of the time. And it makes sense because you can uh, you can Deliverance off the hook and you get the bar of time for 10 seconds and then you also get a speed boost in addition to that. It's really, really right. strong combo. And then sometimes you also have Adrenaline on it for reasons. So, however... Oh, Quentin <laughs> in a bad spot here. I'm yep. nervous for him. I'm very ah. nervous for him. Same. Good dodge there, though, from the Quentin. Yeah, this this chase needs to last a long time. In fact, it needs to never end because if it ends ah, like ah, this, that is the game. There it is. Yep, and with that, they will be able to secure the victory with a six stage. And at this point, however many kills is just a little bit of a cherry on top for this killer. And they even see the Quentin over in the distance. Oh, man. <laughs> Really well done from this executioner as, uh, to be fair though, Adam and Quentin had some really good chases there for the survivors yeah. as well. <laughs> Adam's like, get out of here. This is my place. <laughs> the survivors had such a good hustle. Mm -hmm. to, it, it was such a close game. Could have gone to both sides like I mentioned earlier. It was mm -hmm. basically just a, it was the same game. It was just a matter of are the survivors able to come out on top a little more than the last ones. And sadly yep. it looked like our executioner main here with their flicks from heaven managed to come out on top indeed really really well done to both of these teams <laughs> but i'm actually surprised uh, i don't know how close you have to be to the cage I to know. get it to reset position i forget it, in my head i was like that that's close enough he's right there <laughs> right? but sure enough they're staying right there it's like behavior i'm getting camped also <laughs> is it just me or is this cage paused <laughs> Can you can you pause the cages? You shouldn't be able to. I is there a kinship? Okay, we have to check if Quentin has kinship. Is there a kinship bug in the cage? I was not aware that kinship should activate, unless it's a a thing where if you're in the cage and executions nearby, it pauses. That might be a thing, but yeah. All right, comment I, I... section. I need some help here. Chat, give me some help. Yeah, because I, I, I don't recall reassurance or uh, kinship mm -hmm. working in the cage. Yeah, same, same. Also, notice the hay status effect. We got a, we got a little know it up yeah, in here as yeah. well. Oh, a surprise. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, and a cage to boot. I imagine Claudette will be able to get out as they are probably on this exit gate. Yep, there they are. Yes. If the cage spawns nearby, you can get the uncaged and get out. But otherwise, I think you just take the out here. No, they're not even done. Oh, this guy. They're just, but they don't know. They don't know. It's <laughs> yeah, they were so close. A but beautiful 4K from our executioner. Mm -hmm. Really, really well played. And again, survivors did a really good hustle there in the middle, like you said, able to, you know, actually bust out some gens. Oh, wait, I didn't realize that Quentin just stayed there. What is going on? Yeah, Quentin's, Quentin's like just over here hanging out. What is this? I didn't realize I Quentin answers. stayed there in the cage. <laughs> I need I need answers right now. What the heck is going on? <laughs> that is, I didn't know that. I guess I never seen an execution kill that early on. Interesting. Yeah. Quentin did in fact have kinship. Okay. All right. I need to know. Does kinship work in the cage? Someone in the chat, tell me what is going on. <laughs> bug or feature? Yeah, right. Bug or feature? I am so curious. All right. Well, I learned something, and it can be fair. If it is a bug, I'm not surprised. It's yeah. That's really niche and interesting, though. I did not. Uh, if that if that is an intended interaction, cool. It's like the only perk that I know of that interacts with the executioner's power. So right. Oh goodness, but 
regardless, uh, I'm going to wait and read the chat in a bit. But with that said, congratulations to CDG on your first round victory. And we going into set number two very shortly again. We will be having a small intermission here as we uh, go on break, get the next uh, set up. I don't know if the next team is ready to go just yet, so we'll have to get that set up. But in the meantime, DVD Opinions, thank you for coming out. Uh, it was a pleasure to cast with you. I appreciate you coming in. Uh, what do you What do you got going on? What do you got going on? Do you uh, You have YouTube? What do, What do you do on there? Tell us. I do. I am exclusively YouTube right mm -hmm. now. You can check me out over at DBD Opinions. We do we do a little bit of everything. We do our gameplay, we do our sketches, and we got our live streams there and news. Just a little bit of everything. So be sure to check me out there, DBD Opinions. And I also heard there's a guest appearances of Ghostface. Is that true? No, we don't we don't talk about him. <laughs> he, he, he thinks we're partners. He's just he's just a nuisance. He's just a nuisance. I think they call that stalking. You need a restraining order. But <laughs> I have been working on it. Been working on it, but. Uh, wonderful. But with that said, thank you for coming in today. I do appreciate it. And we'll be back with round number two very shortly. Stay tuned, folks.